Welcome back to the vlog, campers. Uh, if you're tuning in for the first time, my name is Brad. I go by the Whalen, and this is my vlog on Truck Venture. Remember to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the bell notification to stay tuned for all my content. Uh, in this vlog, we're going to do a winter camp in the Deschutes National Forest, so stay tuned for that. And we're back in the Emporium of Oddities and Miscellaneous Things once again. So, if you uh, look behind me, you'll notice uh, the skeleton and frame of Pigpen lying here. And the cab and bed as well. Uh, that's a tale for another day. Right now, we are fixing uh, a little thing on the rooftop tent that came loose in our Mojave adventure. I, I hooned the truck pretty hard and shook that tent up pretty good. So, uh, maybe not designed for... Uh, high-speed overland, uh, pre-lander style driving those tents. But uh, we'll figure that out as we go. But what we're doing is we're going to load that tent onto the truck, and we're going to do an Oregon winter camp. Oh, doing things, all the things. All right, let's see. I need this little guy to go my way. He did it my way. And for extra money, I won't sing. I feel more comfortable about that. Well, it's on. Now to fix it. All right. Nick, tell the kind people what uh, you're fixing right now. Well, so. The whole tent is held up by these three, there's a third one here, trust me, by these three poles. Except, uh, apparently they're not built for um, pre-landing, is that what we've decided the name is? Pre-landing. You know, it's a cross between pre-running and overlanding. Um, and they keep rattling loose. In this case, this one actually tore the bolt out. So I'm now adding additional bolts to keep the tent together. Uh, screw, cheap metal screws, bolts, same, same. Okay, we are here in Deschutes Forest for the winter camp action. We just got the truck here set up, found our camp spot. It was a little bit of a treacherous road out here at times because it's a very snow caked uh, road to get down here in this area. We camped not too far away from this area this summer in the Deschutes Forest camp video that I did or blog that I did uh, right on the other side of this creek. Uh, we're on the opposite side that we camped in the summer and we are going to get this camp underway. And we have a very hard working woman over here digging out the snow for a fire pit. One thing about this rack setup is you definitely light up camp. So I tend to have a habit of getting into camp at nightfall for some reason and having this rack to light everything up that's set up is quite handy and just to show off my festive holiday light setup on my truck uh, did this kind of on a whim but it definitely got a lot of attention this season with a lot of friendly honks and waving on the road with my festive lights Another thing to point out is the guy GPS map still active for this area uh, because we camped in the same area over the summer. Came back, trail still active, able to follow the path to the trail in case I forgot, which I didn't. But uh, it's cool to have the guy uh, handy uh, to make sure that you're on the right path, especially when the 
trail might be different when it's caked in snow in the winter. I do use a Garmin InReach Explorer to connect to my iPad for maps and location when I'm out of network uh, with Gaia GPS. I know the other kind of option out there is to do a GPS puck uh, with lead nav. A lot of Baja drivers do that, but I find for overlanding, uh, camping and what, whatnot, the InReach Explorer is really handy because I can take it with me if I hike. Uh, and then the Gaia GPS map system is pretty good as far as I'm concerned uh, for doing all of my adventuring and logging and finding location and direction. Here you go. You ready? Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn the, the heat on that now. Okay. There we go. Fire! Okay. You're up to bat. And on the menu tonight, we are cooking some steaks, filet mignon. You really can't go wrong with a camp steak. It's kind of a standard for me on camp. And my lovely girlfriend in place of the beef broth that I was gonna bring, uh, she is making a special broth consisting of shrimp, some vegetables that we had, and egg as well. And you can't go wrong with little sriracha. Shrimp egg broth soup that we made up on the fly. Camping here on your Eve. Good morning campers. We just had a good night's sleep here on uh, New Year's Eve, so Happy New Year 2021. Winter camp in the Deschutes National Forest in Oregon. I can't even speak right now, I just woke up my... I'm not quite awake yet. Uh, so we are going to get the camp all packed up uh, and then get back on the road. But Happy New Year, good winter night camp. Uh, Deschutes National Forest, love this place. Great place to camp, summer or winter apparently. Well, it's been a fantastic time coming back to the Chutes National Forest 
in the winter for a winter camp. Uh, it's a majestic landscape uh, in the summer or winter. Snow cover here. Unfortunately, we didn't get any snow falling on us this time uh, in this adventure, but we definitely see snow everywhere we go. Uh, and we even have sisters in the background covered in snow, uh, which is uh, another majestic view uh, to, to behold. Uh, so very fun time. Uh, winter camp was very successful. Just one night, real quick, easy camp. And, and for those of you who might be apprehensive about a winter camp, uh, it's pretty easy to do. The key is just to stay warm and stay dry. So wear things like wool socks and water resistant or snow resistant boots. Uh, and also make sure you wear a lot of layers. So stay warm, stay dry, bring extra things uh, like extra socks or extra uh, shirts and hoodies or whatnot if you need to. Uh, and you know, you can even bring devices uh, we, to help you stay warm. Like we brought a propane heater this time around uh, and that worked out pretty well. Uh, always make sure you watch those things and you never keep them unattended even in the winter time you do not want to start a fire so make sure you're being cognizant of that uh, but there are ways to enjoy winter camp you just got to stay dry and stay warm and with that that's the end of this vlog so please like this video subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification and thanks for watching